to designing online instruction in Moodle 3. This tutorial will focus on the process of meta-linking courses so that instructors can teach two sections or more of the same course from one Moodle shell. Meta-linking automatically pushes enrollments from one Moodle course to another, only requiring instructors to develop and maintain one course for two or more course sections. Let's look at a visual of the process on docs.moodle.org. This image shows how the linking process works. Notice students from the child course or courses are associated with the meta course, giving them access to the course materials. This is shown in the visual on the right. The meta course has all the course materials for students to access. With meta linking, the instructor will be able to interact with students in both the meta course and the child courses through the meta course. In addition, two child courses may be meta linked to one meta course. So all of the enrollments from the first child course and all of the enrollments from the second child course can automatically be associated with the meta course so that the instructor can teach through the meta course. To begin, enter the course you wish to make the parent course. This is the course you plan to develop and teach from. In the administration block, select users, enrolled users, enrollment methods, and we will scroll down and choose the course MetaLink method. From here I will find the course that I want to link to the meta course. So I will look through my list. You need to carefully select the same course but different section number that will match your meta course. So I'm going to select this course and add method. Now my courses are meta linked. I have my Center for Teaching and Learning course with 1,519 users. That's my meta course. And then I have my faculty training for online teaching credential with 102 users. So at this point, these two courses have all of these users combined so that I can access them through the meta course and so that they can access materials in the meta course as well. Now we can see what this looks like by going to Administration, Users, Enrolled Users. And this will open up the screen of all of our enrolled users. We will be able to see who is in the um, meta course and who was in the child course. The one that says manual enrollments are the ones that were enrolled in the meta course, the main course that we're going to teach from, and the other students were enrolled in the child course, it will say course meta link and it will have the name of that course. That way you can see, uh, distinguish which course, which students were enrolled in which course originally. Now another thing you're going to want to do is go in and change the name of your course because you want it to reflect the, the name of both courses for your students. So you will come to administration go to edit settings and here you will change your course full name to include information that will let students know that they are in the right place. So this is the Center for Teaching and Learning and Faculty Online Credential. So I'm just combining my course names. You might combine your course sections. For example, English 111 NW1 and NW2 or something along those lines. And when you're done, you will save and that will change the name of the course so students will know that they are in the right place when they arrive. The other thing you might want to do is hide the other course, the child course, so that if students will not see it in their course list. To do that, I'm going to find that course, which is here in my course list 
and I do not want students to see this anymore because this is now meta linked to my main course. So I will go to administration, edit settings, scroll down, and instead of being visible where show, I'm going to hide and save and display. That way the students will no longer see this in their course list. Thank you for joining me for designing online instruction in Moodle 3, Metalinking. See you next time.